frustrating thing talking about BLM now, like what, two years later, is I'm still saying the same thing as when I first commented on them. They're lying. That's the most frustrating thing about it. And now we got the biggest names in the media and news, guys like Trevor Noah, just lying about what happened. The video is public. And we got guys like Trevor Noah, who a bunch of regressives trust, say the way the shooting went down is Philando Castile says, I have a gun, officer. It's in my glove cup box. And the officer says, do you have a registration for the firearm? And he says, yeah, it's in my pocket. Reaches for his, in his pocket and gets shot. That's not what happened. That's a bold-faced lie. That's a total, can, complete fucking lie. All you gotta do is watch the video. Like, uh, about half a minute into the stop, Flander just randomly says, Oh, by the way, officer, I have to tell you I have a gun. And the officer says, Don't reach for it. Don't reach for it. Don't reach for it! And then shoots him. So, this guy, who was a suspect in an armed robbery case, in a world where black people, or excuse me, a country where black people... Uh, shoot cops just for being cops all the time in a manner exactly like they claim cops shoot them for being just for being black not for being black while also being a criminal while also resisting arrest while also going for a cop's gun while also um, violently attacking somebody else uh, while also being armed and reaching for a gun uh, exactly like what happened with Flandro Castile It's as justified as any other shooting I've ever seen. That's what happens to you when you go flailing around in your pockets and in your car when a cop suspects you of having a gun, which you've just announced to the cop. You can't get any more retarded. It's Philander's fault. And I can't imagine how the case even went to trial as murder. It would have had to have been wrongful death or involuntary manslaughter at best. Sorry, jet ski on the canal. And the cop couldn't have possibly, uh, under the worst case circumstances, ever done more than a couple of years. If the guy didn't have a record at all, the hell, maybe even just probation or something. And it's, I guess it's fine that he was fired because... A cop with a cooler head, you know, maybe nobody would have died. However, that's not a reasonable expectation. Uh, the cop's life was in imminent danger, given the circumstances as they were. This video is long enough, and my dog wants to come back inside. That's all that needs to be said. Stop lying. How can we take this issue seriously? Why is Black Lives Matter not taken seriously? Because anybody who bothers to look into their claims realizes they just lie. They lie, 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 and they're very openly racist towards white people. So why would they not have overwhelming white support? By the way, they're so racist, they don't want overwhelming white support. We're not welcome in their little shitty group. So it's a good thing they're full of shit and not righteous paragons of morality, okay? Because then I would feel kind of bad. But instead, I feel kind of bad that people still take this bullshit seriously. Stop trusting the media. They lie openly easily like that and I know Trevor Noah, uh, Noah isn't specifically the news media he's still a liar and he's still media so keep that in mind thanks for watching